If you live in BC, Ontario, or just any other province, city, or state that has a crazy overpriced housing market, you might be thinking to yourself that it's time to pick up and move to an area of the country that's more affordable. Am I right? Before we jump on in, I will say that I do have a couple other videos about the city of Lethbridge. I have a pros and cons video, as well as asking the question, is Lethbridge worth it? And I'll link to that pros and cons video up here, as well as down in the description below, so that you can watch those videos after this one. Okay, so the first financial reason why you should move to Lethbridge is first GST and taxes. So in Alberta as a whole, we only have a 5% GST. We don't have an HST, a PST, or any other sort of consumer sales tax. I know in places for like BC, you're paying 12% for PST and GST, and same with Manitoba, New Brunswick. And actually, I just wanna pause right here because when I was researching this, I was actually shocked about how much other provinces pay in consumer taxes. Like what? 15% is actually pretty common across other provinces. I mean, even Saskatchewan is at 11%. This is something I didn't even know. And now that I've researched this, I'm super happy, I'm even more happy that I live in Alberta. Now, when it comes to personal tax in Alberta, if you make under $130,000, 131 actually, your personal income tax is gonna be about 10%. And that slides up by a few percentage points for those of you who make significantly more than that, like you guys. If you make a lesser salary than that, then there may be some other tax advantages by staying in your current province, but overall, probably not, which we'll get into later. However, in BC, if you're making about $100,000 a year or more, you're gonna be paying 5.5% more personal income tax than you would in Alberta. However, Ontario, you could be faring a little bit better, but if you're making that 70 to 90K range in Ontario, you're gonna be a bit better off by like just a small margin in Alberta. But if you make less than that or more than that, then you're gonna be paying less in Ontario. So it's kind of a wash there and it just depends on your unique situation. Reason number two is gas prices. We all know gas prices change daily and it seems like they only ever increase. They never really come down, unfortunately. However, generally speaking, gas prices in Alberta are anywhere between 15 to 30 cents cheaper per liter than that in places like BC and Ontario. So I don't really have actual stats to back up this data, but basically what I do have is just some anecdotal evidence. I do have some family that live out in BC and they're often calling me. I often go out to visit them, but they're often calling me and saying like, hey, what's the gas prices out there? And when I tell them, they usually get their nose put out of joint just a little bit. I mean, right now, I believe gas is about $1.86 to $1.63 per liter in BC and about $1.76 in Ontario right now from my quick Google search. But in Alberta, the cheapest that I have seen right now is $1.46 at Costco and about $1.54 about everywhere else as of filming this video. So reason number three is housing prices. Now again, as of filming this video, the average housing price in BC is just over $900,000, which is up from $700,000 from last year. That's just an absolute crazy number and it's friggin' terrifying. Actually, I do have quite a bit of family in Vancouver, and honestly, I don't even know how they afford to live. I actually know for a fact that none of them can actually afford to move, or if they did, they would almost need to downgrade from the place that they're currently living, because like everyone, they're just getting priced out of their own market out there. It's nuts. Now, I'm actually not even as familiar with the Ontario market out there, but as of filming this video, Ontario seems to be even more expensive with the average home going for about $1.8 million. Excuse me, $1.8, $1.08 million. Not quite as bad as 1.8, but 1.08 is still expensive for a single family home. However, comparing those numbers to Lethbridge, the average detached home in Lethbridge right now is going for about $350,000. I do keep a close eye on this number because it does change week to week, but it's pretty safe to say that you can get a decent single family detached home in Lethbridge for under $400,000. So it's really a no brainer why Lethbridge would be so desirable for those BCers and Ontarians out there that would find Lethbridge so attractive. Many of my clients, if not all, have been able to cash in on a once in a lifetime opportunity and selling their homes in these provinces for 900,000 or 1.1 million, like I said, they're able to sell those homes that have appreciated so fast and come to Lethbridge and buy in cash and be mortgage free at a very young age. Now I do know that it's a very big move to pack up and change provinces, but hey, mortgage free is pretty amazing. So reason number four is the cost of living. 
Now, overall, housing and taxes are cheaper out here, like we talked about earlier. However, things like food, restaurants, and drinks are also marginally cheaper in Lethbridge compared to other provinces as well. This is something that me and my wife often don't notice because we do live here and you're kind of used to your surroundings. However, we just actually had friends down here from Calgary a few weeks ago, and they mentioned that drinks at a few of the restaurants that we went to were significantly cheaper up in Calgary, Alberta let alone major cities across Canada. Now, another reason why moving to Lethbridge makes the most financial sense is the employment rate. So Lethbridge is currently sitting at a 3.1% employment rate, which when you compare that to the national average of 6.4%, Alberta looks pretty attractive. Now, being fully transparent here, the median household income in Lethbridge is 11% lower than the average, but the median household income is $76,000 per year. So when you combine that with the lower cost of living, it's significantly easier, not just to get by, but to thrive in this city of Lethbridge. So in summary, if you're trying to make the dollars and cents work when it comes to moving to Lethbridge, from what I can see and from what other clients that I've helped make this move, it's almost a no brainer. With Lethbridge being so cheap in almost every other way, it really makes an easy pitch to convince somebody to move from an overpriced province like BC in Ontario and move out here. So if you're thinking about making this move and you want to get to know Lethbridge housing market a little bit more, or you want to see what's on the market, I'll leave all my information down below so you can call, text, or email to get in touch. So my name's Curtis Hawkins with the Red Door YQL team at lethbridgerealestate.com. And if you thought this video was helpful, please hit that like button. It's free and it actually makes a difference to what I'm doing with these videos. And I want more people to see these videos. So the more you guys engage with these videos, the better it will do. And the more people will learn about how great Lethbridge is. And if you guys like this video and want to see more, or you want to see any of my home tours and you guys never want to miss another video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.